Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. I'm here in Austin, Texas, pretty much in the middle of nowhere, and we're here for a very good reason. I have the updated 2021 Toyota 4Runner TRD Pro, and as you can see, new Lunar Rock paint job. But before we get into this TRD Pro, let's talk about what does it stand for, that 4Runner. So Toyota makes a lot of SUVs. You could come in entryway with a CHR, you could go RAV4, but boy oh boy, if you want some of that old school Toyota goodness and you especially love off-road terrain, this 4Runner TRD Pro is gonna check off a lot of those boxes. Now, as I said at the start of this video, there are a few changes, some updates. They're slowly trickling into the 4Runner. I know many of you are hoping and rubbing your lucky rabbit's foot. Maybe you're putting a quarter under the pillow for the Toyota 4Runner Tooth Fairy and you want that redesign, but is the 4Runner TRD Pro still such an excellent off-road SUV that's unique, that brings a lot for that enthusiast? And that's what I wanna find out. Is this the still one of the top ultimate SUVs when it comes to off-road capability? So let's go ahead and dive into this 2021. So biggest change besides the paint, which I'm telling you, I thought Army Green looked drop dead sexy. This Lunar Rock is really showing the curves you're gonna get standard LED headlights. It's a new edition for 2021. You can see the LED headlight. You drop down, we got our LED fog lamps. Now the only zonk that we're gonna have to carry on here at the front are the fake vents. You still have these fake corner vents and you still have the fake hood scoop. And I'm telling you, from an aggressive look, nothing looks like a 4Runner TRD Pro. And it's really an SUV that has so much character that I would love to add to my garage. Come across the front, love the grill. You have that gunmetal gray Toyota script. All, all open grill up top, flat black, loving the design. Little bit of this satin black on the bumper. And then of course underneath, let me prove it. You hear that? That's full skid uh, plate protection. And as you could hear with your ears, that is full metal. So you're gonna get that underbody protection. It's got the TRD Pro script on it, nice bright red. Remember, TRD, Toyota Racing Development, all's gonna be pumped in, all that engineering, all that experience, all that history is pumped in. Plenty of ground clearance, and we have some Nito grappling tires, which we're gonna see in a second on this 2021. Now, when we pop up onto the hood, there is that fake hood scoop. I am gonna zonk it. It would be amazing if they could make this functional, or maybe through the TRD parts catalog, you make it functional, but it's got a nice rise and it gives the front end such a unique look and a lot of character. Now, when we come around the bend, what do we work with? Now, these may look like the same exact wheels on your 2020 TRD Pro 4Runner, but they're not. They actually redesigned it a little bit, kind of made it a, a little deeper dish. You are still looking at that great style. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, what is the size of this, this wheel? That's a 17 inch wheel. They're lighter, they're a nice free form, aluminum wheel that's gonna save weight. You got the TRD logo. I like the nice bright uh, calipers behind there. And then of course, what really makes a TRD Pro a TRD Pro is that suspension work. And I'm gonna have Lori kind of master her skills here, show how masterful she is, showing that uh, suspension up top, the nice bright red TRD spring. So remember, you have the different wheels, you're gonna have that lift, you're gonna have the springs. All that suspension is fine tuned for this 4Runner TRD Pro, and for 2021, they were able to do a little bit more tweaking, and you have those Nito grappler tires. You're gonna be like the Gracie family. You're gonna be grappling through the rocks and the stones and everything else. Now, as we go down the side, color matched on the mirror caps, loving the fender flare treatment. I like the way they paint the fender flares. How many SUVs is it just flat black? Of course, if we have under skid plates, you're gonna get your frame rail protection as you're going, doing the rock crawling. Up top, I love this massive roof rail system. You could get the cargo basket, you could put your kayaks, whatever you need to put up there. Nice flat black around the window treatment, color matched on the door handles. You got a really, really tasteful TRD Pro, everything blacked out on this rear pillar. Just a classic look. And then as we wrap it around back, you're gonna get a nice, fat, stubby roof spoiler with your integrated third brake light, Forerunner. I'm gonna zonk it, they should have just blacked that out. They blacked everything else out. You can remember, lower and open that glass, which is great. That's a nice extra touch there. And then as we drop down, 
you have your TRD Pro badge. This is gonna have that catback exhaust and Lori's gonna showcase that nice gloss black exhaust tips, gonna give that V6 a nice rumble. And of course you have your full tow capability, which makes this such a versatile vehicle. But why don't we pop that hood and see the old tried and true V6 that's lurking underneath it. All right guys, we do have the hood popped underneath that hood. A lot of black plastic, but like I said, you're gonna get that tried and true four liter V6, still pumping out 270 horsepower, 278 pound feeds of torque. You could tow up to 5,000 pounds. It is mated to a five speed automatic transmission and the Forerunner TRD Pro weighs in at 4,750 pounds. Now, some of the other fine touches that they've done besides the TRD tuned coil springs is you do have that in one inch lift. You're gonna have two and a half inch Fox internal bypass shocks up front and out back two and a half piggyback style remote reservoirs. And like I said, Toyota has been doing the business for years when it comes to off-road racing, whether it's the Baja 500, the 1000, or stadium truck racing. But why don't we go ahead? I said it's got a catback exhaust. Why don't we fire it up and hear what this V6 sounds like? All right, guys, we're in the 2021 Toyota 4Runner TRD Pro. I know many people are saying right now, wow, I wish there was more redesign going on. Listen, it's, it's definitely an evolution, not a revolution, but boy, oh boy, wait until we take it for a spin. You'll see that this really is a very capable vehicle. I know you're at that point, Joe, you're like, listen, I've waited long enough. I've looked at used car prices. They hold their value so well. I might as well buy a brand new one. I, I would have to agree with you. You might as well just buy a brand new one. MSRP, the way that this one is optioned is right around $50,000. Let's see what you get for the money. Now to the door panels, I love the nice soft touch material up top. That red contrast stitching comes with the TRD Pro package. You get a little bit of like a carbon flash metallic on the door handle. Everything's tasteful. I do like the Twinkie pocket up top. And then down below, you might be able to get two tacos but go very light on the sour cream and a nice large bottle uh, holder for, you could get your Mountain Dew Code Red or Cur Code Purple or whatever, Purple Nurple, whatever they're doing. Now, the dash, it's flat black. It isn't soft touch, but I do like the texture. You have this aluminum trim that looks very, very tasteful, gives it that rugged look. And then when you get to the infotainment system, this is stuff that was all new for 2020. Now, you got your good old fashioned digital clock, it may look like a Casio clock, but the good news is it's always gonna tell you the right time. And then this is the big talking point starting for 2020 was the addition of the, of the eight inch infotainment system. It's got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You got your JBL sound system. I like the way they integrated it with the rest of the controls. And speaking of controls, you got wonderful, nice, large knobs. Everything really, really good. Let me throw it in the reverse real quick show that it does have a backup camera. No trajectory though, which is a, a zonk, but I do like the way it does take up the whole screen. Before we go any lower, let me show you up top here. You do have your crawl control features, which remember that is like a cruise control as you're doing your rock crawling. So they got you fully covered. And I like the ability for the auxiliary uh, buttons here and everything. Really, really nice clean setup, nice and high to where you could get to it. We come back down, you are gonna get your climate controls. It is dual climate, which is a nice touch. Everything flat black. You got a nice little cubby here for one more Twinkie. That's about it. A USB, a 12 volt, which is great. Close that up. Another cubby down here. You could easily put probably a Snickers, maybe even a Milky Way if you're not crazy about nuts. If you don't want nuts in your mouth, you could go Milky Way. This is your controls for your four wheel drive system. That good old fashioned stubby handle. This is gonna control that five speed automatic transmission. You got one cup holder here, one cup holder here a place for your cell phone or maybe some Slim Jims. I do like this faux carbon fiber design. It actually is pretty tasteful in here. And then you have the ability to lower that rear window on the hatch, which you don't see on a lot of SUVs. Heated seats, nice high armrest. I like the material. The stitch work is great. We open that up. You got another 12 volt and you could easily drop a box of Twinkies in there. You don't even have to take them out. Just drop the box right in there 
And then the seats, they're tasteful, they're clean. TRD uh, embroidery, which looks really good. Nice, smooth, all the way down. And then of course, you're gonna have the controls to be able to change whatever you got. I like the way it's got a, a lighter headliner and you have a sunroof, which is a nice extra touch. And we got the GoPro ready because we're gonna rock and roll this forerunner. But before we rock and roll, get your butt over to the business end. I wanna show you behind the wheel of this TRD Pro. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel. You do have your power seat controls, which are really nicely done. And then the steering wheel, it is that older style Toyota steering wheel. I wish they would have blacked out at least the Toyota badge to kind of match everything else on the exterior. But you have the nice leather all the way around, easy to get to the controls. And then the dash is a clean setup. You have your analog tech, speedometer, and then you have that digital display in the center. It gives you just the right amount of information, but it is gonna be interesting to see where Toyota is gonna to take this to the next level. But the great news is I got plenty of room up here and the seats are really wonderful. Let's check out the back seat and see how your passenger is gonna like going off-roading with you in this TRD Pro 4Runner. All right, guys, back seat time. And the good news is, is that your passengers are gonna have plenty of room back here. You have that nice material all the way around the back. You got the pockets. It is a net, I am gonna zonk that, but you do have two AC vents, and guess what? Yes, Toyota does take care of you with the two USBs for your backseat passengers, but I'm telling you, it's very, very comfortable back here. I feel good, I just, it's a really, really car enthusiast type of vehicle, but why don't we go ahead, oh, before I forget, look what we have. We do have a nice armrest with two cup holders, and it is soft, which is a great touch, but why don't we check out that cargo area and see, does it have enough room for your next adventure. All right guys, cargo area time. Remember, you can slide this window up and down, which is a nice extra touch. And when you go to open, you are gonna have to use some muscles. There's no electric assist, but boy oh boy, when you open it up, look what we have. I'll go ahead and take down this cargo net. You have plenty of room. On the passenger side, I just wanna point out that with that JBL sound system, you are gonna get a subwoofer. You got a nice home power source and a 12 volt. Perfect cubby tray. This is a good serving tray for some guacamole, fill that up with some guac and get the chips out because the rest of the space back here is very, very large. You can get an optional, and I'm gonna uh, recommend it, that there's an optional sliding tray that you can get that really makes life easy, especially if you have heavier objects and you don't wanna dive in, you could pull the actual tray out. But why don't we go ahead? If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's take this 4Runner TRD Pro for a spin. All right, guys, we are leaving our mysterious location out here in Austin, Texas. We're gonna try to do some on-road and off-road driving in this 2021 4Runner TRD Pro. You know, whether you're driving it as your daily driver or just using it for that fun weekend vehicle, the great news is, is the way that it rides down the road it's super smooth. I like the feedback that you get. It's not super bouncy. It doesn't feel like you're in some super sized vehicle. It actually feels really, really good. I like the sound from the catback system. You got your uh, navigation, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, which is a really, really wonderful piece of technology to have in that center stack with the infotainment system. Yeah, it doesn't have a full digital dash, but you know what? The gauges are easy to read, easy to understand. Even going into you know your four-wheel drive setup, going from two high to four high and four low, very, very easily done. Even seeing that hood scoop, even though I know it's fake, from the backside, it just looks really menacing and very unique. There's no other SUV you're gonna confuse this 4Runner TRD Pro for out on the road. But let's do a little on-throttle acceleration here on some asphalt and then we'll go from there but here we go one two three on throttle we got an four-wheel drive so nice sound coming from that cat back exhaust it's not too loud it's not too quiet it really does sound just about right and Acceleration wise, for a four liter a vehicle that's weighing around almost 5,000 pounds, it's, it's gonna be A-OK -okay and you have that great towing capability as well, which is wonderful. And taking this a little off-road, going down this little dirt hill, I'm telling you, this 4Runner TRD Pro just soaks everything up. 
very, very well, and you really have no issues whatsoever as you're navigating with this vehicle. But we're gonna go ahead and wrap this one up as we go up the hill, and we'll get back to our secret location. So I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been a wonderful day here in Austin, Texas. I definitely gotta thank everybody over at Toyota USA. Cole, who's out here, Zach, Corey, Michelle, the rest of the crew, getting us this 2021 TRD Pro for you. What can I say? Is it perfect? Maybe not, but you know what? That's not what it's about. Life isn't about being perfect. Life is about having a vehicle that you could go out and you know you're gonna be able to get through just about anything. And with this 4Runner TRD Pro, boy oh boy, do they bring it and bring it in a big way. You may be waiting for the redesign, but I'm telling you right now, if you've always had your heart set on getting one of these, there's no better time than now. And with that Lunar Rock color, boy oh boy, we were definitely getting thumbs up. But if it's vehicles like these that you wanna keep seeing on Razor Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Razor Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you and the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to give it up to my wonderful wife, Lori, working that camera like a champ. Flew out here. She chose this area. So she's such a great production manager. She chooses the set. And guess what? I just sit back and let the words spew out of my mouth. So thank you, Lori, for all that you do. Show her some love in the comments. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.